Hello, this is David Geckel from Baltimore, Maryland, and I'm a Leeds United fan. And we're back, bitches, and we're never fucking leaving. The EFL. And you're listening to the DU Football Show. <laughs> yeah, exactly what I was about to you say. you got to qualify He's it. Back That's in, absolutely right. Back in the championship where they belong. <laughs> oh. I said I wasn't going to play it very much, but when he's here, after he, you know, f- kind of fucks things off, yeah, you have to do it, right? Yeah, we played it during the main show. Start the show. Born in the land of Bowie, Maryland. Bred to be a fan of fucking Everton. Put you in the eye and drink your rye. Sam Houston. Sam Houston? Arsenal fans have another Sam. Right, A.A., the fucking Gooner Graham. Smell the Lord. Looks great in shorts. Sam Graham, A. Sam Graham. Fucking United! Fucking United! Hello and welcome to DU Does EFL Show, a completely biased brief recap of the English Football League is told by two common American schmucks and one guy that might know something about it because his team's down there. I am your host, Sam Houston, and across the way from me is, I still haven't changed it yet, Mr. Samuel Graham. I still have it as Young Hot Freshness listed here. And I went through I was all off of, one fucking week, mate. I, I went through all of them to make sure there were no Hiram's except for this one. This right. was the one I missed on. That's fine. I was off one week. Yeah. And I still here. called in that game. And Gex here. Well, I am muted him now. Yeah. We, we, we call him we call him by his uh you know Just Gek. Christian his, name. Christian name. Gek. There hey, was Gek. There was Dennis Eckersley, the Eck, and now there's Gek. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Uh on the ones and twos, producer Mel. How you doing, producer Mel? I'm good. I'm chatting with Shore Belly. He wishes that you guys uh, were able to check the chats and while we're doing the show. And I'm like, yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, you do the chats. You guys can only do so many things yeah. at once. No, you do. Well, that you sounds do the chats. disrespectful oh, from you, and, uh, actually. And he goes, um, well, if uh, Hiram is young, hot freshness, that means the other one is old and busted. <laughs> no. Yeah. Does yeah. not mean that. No, it's exactly what it means. No, it does not. That's just the men in black yeah. rules. Yeah, he doesn't exactly. make them. No, uh, that's not what it fresh. means. Old and busted. I mean, that's, that's exactly what it is. No, I'm not the opposite of Hiram. Uh-huh. I would say you are the exact <laughs> opposite of no, Hiram. No, I'm middle-aged and kind of cool. <laughs> no, no, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. Graham. You're old and busted. G- Graham, I used I You've used had to, to be fixed by surgery. Hi. Oh, it's only a matter of time for you, Mr. Blood Pressure Meds. Yeah, all you right. You keep running your mouth the way you <laughs> like to run your mouth. It just, it all comes back to bite you in the ass, old ass. It'll be fine. I'm not old yet. Uh-huh. I'll be 38 in May. Uh-huh. It's only a matter of time. 38. Fuck. I did go to the chiropractor today. When you turn 40. That felt good. When you turn 40 and start to cry. 40? When I 40, turn 40. 40. 40 and you start to cry. Irish chili. I'm going to be right there behind you. I won't cry. Patting you on the back. Going there, there, you little bitch. I think I think Carly and I might host a live sex show when I turn forty, just to show we still got it. <laughs> and and after those twenty five <laughs> seconds, what are you gonna what I do? You a a show a time. <laughs> in, so like, what do you think when I did this? <laughs> yeah, why not? D- d- there will be great Martini, martinis and uh, uh, dressing gowns. It'll be fun. Stop telling people about what we do during <laughs> our fucking uh, our videos for our Patreon listeners or our appreciation video every year. Um, G- Graham will be done. Graham will just look at everybody and go, Dem titties dough. <laughs> Salisbury Steaks over there must be wondering what the fuck you walked into. <laughs> We are recording at the DU Public House just outside the nation's capital. You can find us wherever you get your pods and, of course, streaming live every single Monday night. Should you want to chat with us, there is many ways that you can. Mr. Graham, tell the good people how they can get in touch. Yeah, we really can't be asked to check our socials for the most part anyway, so we're definitely not <laughs> setting up a new one for this. It's uh, the same shit, at DU Football Show on all your social medias and DU Football Show at gmail.com to get in touch via email, even for the show. It's very simple. I run the Twitter. He runs the Graham. I actually answer. Uh, I tweets. haven't posted. I haven't posted a picture on Instagram in fucking ages. Oh, yeah. I know it's oh, all yeah. the shit Mel posts. That's what I've been all doing. the videos. I, yeah, I but I haven't TikTok. gotten a photo from you from mm-hmm. recording in ages either. 
also on TikTok. <laughs> so what am I supposed to post? <laughs> you can hear. Hold on, I'll take a quick picture. <laughs> there you go. You gotta get a picture to post. Can't wait. <laughs> they can go through and take screenshots now. We uh, the new cameras are putting us in like at uh, fifty frames per second. We, so. we can go through and do screenshots. Have we? No, no. you can go through and get screenshots. Yeah, I'm gonna do that while I'm trying to change a shitty diaper. Yeah, you're. I you're, for that. you're the producer. Produce a fucking uh, picture. Give me a fucking picture, mates. Oh you just get a picture of Luton yeah. or Sheffield. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing exactly $10 more work, okay, y'all? Uh, that's right, because we'll mention that when we do injury time as well. Um, we do, uh, uh, we aren't drinking exactly the same shit because if I pour myself another glass of that old elk, there won't be a bottle. Yeah. Uh, so I'm drinking uh, my uh, the old company. Uh, Westward whiskey, the original American single malt. Hey, you good. got excited yeah, about the high barley content, did you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That, got that got all excited about it. Yeah. But uh, let's go ahead and because get into we the... love the Patreon followers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get the get the. That's top what we got to hold that on. Yeah, try to leave that for you. Well, what happens is is we've done it before, where we like get down to like a quarter of a bottle, and, and then we go, go find another and bottle. We go yeah. find another bottle of it. Fuck. And and then. Like that quarter of the bottle will be on the bar and not get drank at all, and then I just get a full fucking bottle mm. sitting in the. Uh, the worst part is is when that happens. Typically, we have to find a friend in Texas or Ohio yeah, or to find Illinois. Find us another fucking, fucking bottle. Should I please just fucking hook us up again, please. And but then it, they do because they like us because we're charming motherfuckers. Just keep the sticker and put it on something else. <laughs> yeah. But also, uh, but also, Graham, as you mentioned earlier, do not doubt. Your and I's ability to get what we to want. procure what we need to procure. If, if it is alcohol, we will find it. Mm -hmm. It's just how we roll. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Since we have Gek here, there were a handful of games in League One and Two, and uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about them first, and then we'll chat. Get those out of the way. Yep. And then because with the championship man here. Let's talk about the league as a Let's whole. Let's talk about the league as a whole yeah. since he pays attention to it right. more than we do. Right. We 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 watch a few highlights of a few key we matches. We do the best that we can, we, yeah. And, and honestly, we just kind of want to talk about all of it as a whole because ultimately what would happen is, is this bleeds over into the main show. And the main show already goes an hour and a half, and we don't need it to well, go two and a half. Absolutely. We also have we have Geckel and we have Lars who are Leeds fans, and we yeah. know they're going to listen to us because they like us. Yeah. What really we're doing is practicing for when Fulham get relegated after Jao Polina leaves, and that contingent who doesn't like us that much might roll out if we don't talk about them. Or God forbid <laughs> Everton ever get relegated, and I need to do a show about my team. You're one ten point deduction away. <laughs> one more, <laughs> one additional yeah. ten point deduction. Oh, I'm sure they'll figure out another ten point deduction to give us because they're not happy that we're outside of it right now. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, let's fuck over Everton one more time. Um, You're Pompey, so Alex Jones. Oh, I very much am. Very the much. The ten am. point deduction is turning the Liverbirds gay. <laughs> I have the documents <laughs> right here. Get Excelsior mail right now. It'll take care of everything you need. Satire, <laughs> satire. Please not do this on YouTube. Satire. Uh, um, Pompey lost at 20 to, twenty-second place, uh, Chetlam. The magic of the Chelsea. cup. Oh, wait. Yeah. The, the horses uh, yeah. ran, ran ragged, huh? Yep. Did they, the two old Pompey? Two to one. They still see it uh, two points clear of Bolton, but Bolton now have two games in hand. Yeah, so they don't sit two points clear, do they? <laughs> no. Because Bolton haven't been playing uh, now, poorly at now all. Now, the one thing they have going for them is they have already played Bolton and they beat Bolton. So that, that helps them as well. But this is only their third loss of the season yeah you know they just it just they comes just, at a shit time they just drew way too many yeah. matches at the start of the season mm -hmm. just wrong timing for them um <clears throat> other notable result is exeter city one and that moves them over reading so reading is now back in the drop again yep um, in the final drop spot yeah yeah the final drop yeah, spot because yeah. four teams go down in Correct. one <laughs> which is a long way to claw back for reading um, so a few results, uh, and that, that honestly with the stadium they have, cause remember they were permanently not too terribly long ago. That could be detrimental to Reading's future altogether. That's a big old stadium to fill. If you're in, oh, League, God, yeah. if you're in, God, League two. Yeah. yeah, 
No, that was, I mean, you, you saw that as a huge problem when we were talked about uh, Sunderland when mm-hmm. they went down to League One. They couldn't fill the entire upper bowl. Mm-hmm. Like, that was, they had to do kind of bits to try to have, like, the largest um, attendance at a um, at a uh, League One match. And those were the kind of bits they had to do just to try to make more money for, for them as to a club. To yeah. Um, to pay for that hyperbolic chamber that nobody ever used. <laughs> except the owner <clears throat> at the time, who was also London-based. Yeah. Another similarity to Newcastle. Yeah. With uh, Mike Ashley. Pika so, Pika. So a few results in uh, at the <laughs> top of the League Two table. Uh, Barrow beat uh, Tranmere 1-0, and Mansfield suffered their second loss of the season, 1-0 to Crew Alexandria. But... Neither uh, side lost their spot in the table. They're still the same, still sitting in second and fourth, respectively. Um, At the bottom of the table, Forest Green moved back into 23rd by drawing uh, Salford 2-2. But they're still six points away from safety. It's them and Sutton are in a bad, bad way in League 2. Yeah, they are. Uh I mean, honestly, they're they're a natural source of collagen away from being safe. And <laughs> yeah. at Forest Green Rovers, you're never going to find that. Because <laughs> apparently it's only found in chicken feet. Heard. Which Heard. Obviously Animal byproduct, vegan. Yeah. yeah. No jello for them. Uh-uh. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't my fault. <laughs> Championship corner! I'm falling. And I can get up. Oh, no. Spitting straight fire Mel is tonight. I mean, just the fucking on her game. You know what? She's looking across at the Gex. She's just getting all flustered. You, I'm, I'm you sorry. Think, <laughs> you think Jordan. She, no wife and no dogs this week? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you think Jordan likes dropping, to watch. <laughs> dropping 50 with the flu He's got in the playoffs. <laughs> yeah. And then you think <laughs> Melissa Helen Houston's <laughs> producing the Ackerman right there. Let's listen I mean, One A and one B, really. The jobs <laughs> I do for this podcast. <clears throat> Go ahead. I'm your social media director, video editor, sound engineer, Rody. And do we really want to take his credit for sound engineer after this last Saturday? Um, I I edit the show. I produce the show. I'm your graphic designer, and uh-huh. don't tell me your graphics are not fire. You outsource that. I don't. I do all of it. She does it all. All of What it. about that sticker she had the, commissioned? All Since the, then, all, all of that that's shit. That's the only everything, thing. Every week I is don't her. physically draw, but everything else. And I commissioned it. It was my idea, so I produced it. Okay. And I'm your field reporter. Thank you, Shore Billy. Like, he's got, <laughs> he's helping me out here. Do we have any audio from Shore Billy? No, not yet. Well, then, and then and you didn't nobody f- smokes, smokes <laughs> more <laughs> weed than her. You didn't I mean, Shore feel Billy. Pretty- you didn't feel the mm-hmm. goddamn thing, did you? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any audio from him yet. I am going to walk out. You know <laughs> what? That's why he says I produce this shit. You know, you know the, what, the Yeah, you want to come over and produce this shit? I'll you know, gladly go to bed. The, you know the key thing she does really <laughs> I got well? i two other companies to worry about. I, got, I could, I'll tell you I know, the I'm, thing. I'm ready for she got doe dogs. <laughs> she does better than anybody. Best cold reader in the business has proven tonight and hits the shit out them buttons. I mean, she is right on time with those buttons. I mean, she hit your buttons enough before we started. <laughs> yeah. That vein popped out. Yeah. I'm counting down to Love is Blind, though, Mel. I'm counting down. I feel like I'm walking alone over here. <laughs> you, you try. You try to deflect, but it doesn't work. <laughs> Mel, wait, it's all love over here. We all love you. Let's go ahead and talk about the championship since we have uh, Mr. Gecko here. See, that's how we take the steering wheel and just <clears throat> right into the oh, right here lane. Here we go with bigging himself up again. <laughs> now. After all that, this has got to. Well, you've you've been told you're brilliant tonight, and my and? job is to fucking keep you in check so you don't <laughs> ramble on for fucking 30 minutes. I mean, it's just nice to be appreciated is all I'm saying. <laughs> um, so, uh, Gecko. 
the season started really rocky for Leeds in the championship. There was a lot of questions of what was going on. I know uh, there was um, Anato wanting to be sold and then not wanting to be sold. Farka kind of trying to figure out what he was going to do with the club. Kind of go into that a little bit, and then we'll get into where you are now. Yeah, so obviously you go down from the premiership. So I was wrong about staying up forever. God, you haven't been in the Premier League for a long time, have you? I haven't been called the Premiership since like 2002. <laughs> anyways, you, you get... You get me. Anyways, last time I got hit with a fucking anyways. <laughs> yeah. you, you know what? You're right. I'm just going to move on from that. That's what that means. Thank you. You get relegated, and then we had some very terrible language in all of our players' contracts that we got when we were in the Premier League that basically said... If anybody could match the wages, they could go on loan. So we lost about seven or eight players on loan. That's how we got Harrison. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And so, yeah. a lot of and the people that didn't have those clauses were crying about leaving. So at the beginning of the season, it was kind of bare bones. We had two keepers on the bench just to fill out a a, a, a a, ru- a lineup. But just briefly, that happens a lot to teams that get relegated, right? Of Is, course. You know, especially, say, for instance, somebody like Luton right now that has Ross Barkley and Andros Townsend. Those are established Premier League players, whether you like them or not, you know, that have played for big clubs, you know, Everton and Chelsea right. and, and Andros Townsend played for Spurs and a few others as well. Yeah. And those players are no secret. You know, say Burnley stayed up. They'd take them in a heartbeat. Oh, God, yeah. Say, you know, Bournemouth stayed up again. If if they had the finances, they'd take them in a heartbeat. Yeah. So you have the players know that. The club knows that. All of these players are trying to protect their own livelihood. So you, you run into a lot of those that aren't, you know, known to the general public necessarily kind of clauses in those contracts that I can fuck off if I want to if we're relegated. Well, and you have to and write that's that the in. reason I'm joining you is I need regular game time. You need a player of my talents, right? And then if if I don't produce for you, I can fuck off and still have a good career. Sorry about your club. That's, that's also lone players mm-hmm. who go to play for those uh you know, those newly promoted sides. Like, um, I remember Connor Gallagher played for mm-hmm. West Brom. Palace and West Brom. Well, and yep. with, with West Brom went down, and it was like by the end of the season, they had multiple loan players, and those loan players ultimately really didn't care. Mm-hmm. They're going back to their club. They'll get loaned oh, out again. Oh, excuse me. Had something yeah. stuck in my throat. <laughs> and you're not wrong. Yeah. You're not wrong. In, the, in that instance, I mean, Weston McKinney was dog shit in the Premier League. You yeah, know, tell that to really, every American fan on Twitter who says, "Oh, Leeds ruined them." No, like, no, it was him. It no, it was I thought I thought he was fine until yeah. Abdullah Decore choked him. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was perfectly fine until he got choked. Because yeah. then after that, Tyler Adams got hurt and he was not in. Maybe the it was Tyler was Adams who choked. End. Doesn't matter. Yeah. It was, it the was point the stands. Key, yeah. <laughs> um, but he, the the team has turned it around and really the key the key match that I would turn to was uh, at Leicester and I watched the match with you up yeah. at um, Barflies in Baltimore the Leeds bar yeah. which still g- a good supporter uh, turnout for, for Leeds matches it's not even just the there was a few more people there that were in the Leeds because obviously there was an American coach and American players and maybe they're not all there there's still a good little chunk of people who come through and watch the matches. Did they, did they remember I mean, to try to log into ESPN and not Apple TV at that bar? We got that right, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Right. So it wasn't as tense yeah, in as, that bar. As, as it was <laughs> at the Abbey. Yeah, I think I think. <laughs> but um, the, uh, that match, the one nothing victory, that really kind of turned things around. And did you, if it, it wasn't for the fact that Lester is on absolute fucking fire. It's, because yeah. outside of the, losing to you and then they lost the next match, they've been just fantastic. They've won 21 of 26 matches, which for the championship <clears throat> is incredible. Like right. They are, I think this is the best form I've seen for a championship team. And that goes Newcastle when they were down for a year. They West Ham when they were down. Yeah. Uh, Burnley looked real damn good last year. Well, I wasn't paying attention then. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> um, but also, uh, newly promoted Ipswich has had a just phenomenal start to the year as well. Other than playing Leeds, yes. Yeah. And then and then couple that 
also with the other demoted Southampton team. has 18 unbeaten matches in a <laughs> like, row. Yeah, yeah. South, Southampton's been playing fantastic. So you're sitting in fourth place. They'd and be playing well in any other year. Yeah, yeah playing well. Here, so here's here's the thing. I just pulled the table up. So you have Leicester's far and away, ten points clear of uh, second place Ipswich. They're on sixty five points, twenty one wins, two draws, three losses, a plus thirty six goal differential. Uh, besides Leeds at a plus twenty, there's nobody else even within touching distance. And Leeds are still 16 goals behind Leicester in goal differential. And as we said in these promotion and relegation battles, that goal differential is almost like an extra point. You know, yeah, I, um, I think everyone's written off winning the league. If well, Leicester of course, win the league. It's, but it's the championship, so that even still, Leicester could not win the league, but they will. They they'll win the league. There's 24 teams in the championship. So you're talking about a 46 Six game season, 46 yeah. game season. So we are just over halfway through. So there's left. still yeah. a lot of games left to play. Well, fast, but yeah. but so what I, what I was going to say is you got second place Ipswich now on 55 points, third place Southampton on 52, and Leeds are in fourth on 48. So only seven points back from Ipswich for the automatic promotion spot. So you're looking at a two week turnaround. Yes, yeah, I mean you could be in second place by the end of January. Southampton were behind us, I think, before the Christmas period. And they won all their matches. Like you said, they went and nuts. Four yeah. Clear yeah. Of yeah. Or three points, whatever it is. Well, and also during the Christmas time period, as I, I mentioned on last week's show, and bears repeating again, was let's remember the EFL, the, the league, played four matches in 10 fucking days. It yep. was like Boxing Day, Jurgen Klopp that lost Friday, his fucking mind. Boxing Day, that Friday, the following Tuesday, then again on. Like, I mean, Tuesday, it was just yeah. one after a fuck another. Yeah. Hey, if I could take this to the Premier League real quick, mm-hmm. uh, one uh, pun that I heard today said something very funny um, about Jurgen Klopp and the potential for a Arsenal replay and how they hoped that they had drawn that game so they could have a replay so Klopp would have something else to bitch about other than the time of games. And they noticed that a lot of the FA Cup games in American time kicked off at 12.45, right? Which would have been, what, 5.45 in England. Right. Um, uh, and Jurgen always tends to complain about those 12.30 kickoffs on Saturday morning. Right, of course. Uh, to them, obviously, 5.30. It's like, why don't we get enough rest? But it was like, hey, Jurgen, you know what we've done for you? <laughs> You're going to kick off at 12.50. <laughs> Get an extra 20 minutes, man. Yeah, yeah. An extra 20 minutes of recovery and rest time. Little, little That's extra time very now. fucking funny. Yeah. And then to look at the championship again, as you say, and they just fit games in where they can. To have ten game, uh, 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 four games rather than a space of 10 days is they you're essentially playing every other goddamn day. It's just there's no recovery time. You're, it, it's so fucking intense. New Year's uh, Eve was on a Sunday. Yep. They didn't play over the weekend because they all played on Friday because they all then played on Monday. Monday on New Year's like, Day. Like, yeah. yeah. And that wasn't just the championship. League One and League Two did that too. Like, it's just fucking insanity. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, the other thing that's worth mentioning, and this is where I kind of want to bring you in uh, as well, Gek, is looking at the rest of the table because after Leeds... West Brom has started to kind of establish themselves as a fifth place team. But honestly, from them all the way down to fucking Preston sitting in, what is that? 14th place? Yeah, 14th place. It's 42 to 35 on oh, points. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. insane. So are you I'd, just I'd, seeing I'd these real... teams all kind of beating each other? What's what's going on with that? So I'd even go as far, sorry, Gek, as far as 17th Blackburn. On 32. Yeah. That's only two games, uh, really. Three games, rather. Nine points, you'd be one point off the playoffs. Right. I mean, it's... If everything went right. I mean, that right. whole middle section of the of the championship is... And also, the bottom of the table is, like, the five teams that are down there are down there. And then yeah. everybody else seems to have a puncher's chance. Has a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so, every year, it feels like someone comes from around... 10th, 12th, and makes a run at the playoffs. And they get, hot at, the, they get the hot at the right time. And they could do that again this year. Yeah, they were they, they had, were they terrible last year. They shot the all the way year. up. And the, this year started off terribly. Terribly at the beginning, yeah. up the fucking league. So for us, when they got promoted, lost like their first. Uh, they were almost going to get relegated. And I think they got a new manager. Mm-hmm. In, they went uh, to Cooper. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, Villa, when they got promoted, were hanging around 10th, 11th place, and they brought in Dean Smith, mm-hmm. and they went on a run, and they ran to a real shit Derby team in the playoff final and yeah. won because yeah. Leeds fucked it off against Derby in the playoffs, mm-hmm. which I'm sure is going to happen again. <laughs> that was Frank Lampard's Derby, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it was. was Frank yeah. Lampard's Derby. He's doing really well as a manager, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Him and Rooney Killing. both. Well done. Unfortunately, Birmingham <laughs> signed somebody else, a real grizzled championship bastard and not Frank Lampard. Yep. It was rumored that that's who they were going to sign. Oh, yeah. Was, was they were looking. Part. The ownership group wants the show. Yeah. yeah. That's why they named themselves the Shelby Company. Yeah. yeah what and owned the Birmingham City Football Club. I mean, they, yeah. they want the show. They want the circus. Yeah. That's the whole point. But is uh, they, they yeah. sold Wrexham and they want the clickbait. That's the whole idea. Yeah. So the same point about somebody making a run up. I think Preston won seven of their first eight matches, and now they're in 14th. Yeah, they've, they've shot down. Birmingham was in six and got Wayne Rooney, and now they're the battling relegation. Yeah. So it's just the form. Yeah, just, they're in 20th, it's, yeah. It's crazy. And unlike the Premier League <coughs> where, you know, City is just going to win every match from here on out the end of the season, like Leicester, Leicester will lose to Plymouth at Plymouth. And right. you go, what the f- what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, the, the the top four seem locked. Who those? How that mixes and matches? Yeah. Like, does Ipswich fall back to the pack mm-hmm. a little, and then does it become a battle between you and Southampton for a second? Yeah. That is always possible. But I think Ipswich finds themselves at least in the playoffs, and but after that, sniffing around their manager, yeah. so it might be tough to finish second. Um, after that, I. Got a lot of faith in West Brom simply because they've been the of of the teams that have fallen out of the playoffs and been back in the playoffs. They've been the one kind of consistent, always in fifth or sixth place, and they see it just feels like they're consistently sticking around. But like we've seen Sunderland bounce in and out multiple times. We've seen Norwich. We've seen Hull City. We've seen Cardiff. Like uh, for a little while at the start of the season, it was Preston. We've watched these teams just kind of bounce around yeah and it's kind of insanity how fucking tight the championship so is this for, year. for my it money with with who's up there right now for my money i would like to see sunderland because they've been gone for so long right i would like to see uh more than sunderland actually i'd like to see coventry they're sitting in a three points out of a playoff spot yeah. i'd like to see coventry get well, back coventry the had league. their chance last year I, and, that's yeah. what i'm saying but they're still there them, thereabouts they had a big victory in the third cu- round of the fa cup mm-hmm. i think they scored six yep yeah so yeah they scored so, six <laughs> West Brom is... Very nice. Uh, Very nice. He scores sex. Hey, uh, Sam, you've been my friend. You've been my boyfriend. (laughs) King of the castle. King of the castle. (laughs) Get right to the machine. (laughs) Score sex. But West Brom are... uh, They've only allowed 24 goals, so they're they're second in terms of goals allowed, and I think they're going to keep... They'll be one of the better... Yeah, but they don't score many is the problem. But I think that's enough to get them in the playoffs. Yeah, it could be. I mean, the teams behind them are plus eight, plus four, plus ten, plus one, plus six, plus two. Yeah, going down to eleventh from West Brom, um, and Southampton are only a plus fifteen. So, uh, but they are ten points back from Southampton. Can they make that up? I, you know, there's a lot of one nils in there. Possibly, <clears throat> possibly not. I don't see West Brom having enough to get automatic promotion, but I would find it hard to believe they don't end up in the playoffs, even though they're really not that far ahead. Yeah. Hey, well, boing, boing, I mean, honestly, for for you, for you, for your club, the thing you don't want is to be in the playoffs. You want you want second, like you exactly. really want second. And Leeds have had some uh, real bad luck in the playoffs, the FA Cup, any the, sort of knockout competition. They just well, the, pro- the problem with the playoffs is that's not part of the topics, right? <laughs> <laughs> Automatic promotion well, is a topic. We we see this every single year. Whoever's third does not advance to the final in Wembley. They don't. They never do. Like, they always lose. You know who because else? Because the team who is in sixth is always the hot team. It's, if we wanted to compare it, like, to American sports, it's it's baseball. It's the wild card team. How many times have you seen the wild card team win the World Series? Why? Because they're the hot fucking team coming in. And Mm -hmm. they play the team that's been comfortable and got to rest Mm -hmm. players, and they kick the shit out of them. Same thing every fucking year in the championship. Whoever is the sixth-place team, be like, well, they'll be at the final. 
Like, it's right. just a guarantee they'll be in well, the final. So and there's the, also the third place team misses out on promotion. So you have people kind a of a bit of a disappointment. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The uh, the other thing, too, that I uh, just real quick of note, um, I believe he's at Norwich, but former Huddersfield manager Daniel Wagner uh, yeah. is back from the Bundesliga. I don't think he's been fired. No, not that I saw. They were they they had a bit of a, a, a but he was he was in charge this weekend of the FA Cup because yeah, they have a replay, I think. They do, yeah. And he actually grew his hair out a bit, got a little swoop to the side, a little salt and pepper. He's looking quite nice, actually, Daniel Wagner. They like their they like their German. Well, he's basically German. They like their German managers down there at North. I think he is German. Yeah, but he uh, played for America because he had like a German or an American parent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's fine. Goddamn right he did. Uh, America, bitches. Let's turn the attention to the uh, bottom half of the table. Um, I think it's pretty safe to say Rotherham's going right back down to League One. I think so as well. They've always been a yo-yo club between the championship and, um, and, uh, yes. No, real quick, before we move on from Uh, this, I want to ask Mel. I see a lot of laugh faces there the last comment. I want to see if there's anything in the chats going on um, with uh, a... I can't shore think belly? of another Easter Shore reference. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to fuck his name up again on purpose, I and I can't want, even think about it. He says, I want Sunderland to get promoted just for two time wear derby a year, derbies a yeah. year. So but keep them in 12. I, you, know I, fun, honestly, you know what's funny we, about that? We have both kind of said we wouldn't mind seeing Sunderland go up simply for time wear. But simply so we can watch the time wear twice a year. Wouldn't we get confused with Bournemouth's jerseys and their jerseys? Bournemouth is uh, red and black, Mel. Oh, yeah. It's and Bournemouth, Bournemouth and Newcastle to together. Oh, is that what it is? I mean, honestly, <laughs> Bournemouth is the olive branch. <laughs> what I, in many ways, because they're barely a Premier League club. Hey, <laughs> Graham, Graham, seat stadium, the cherry, Sunderland stadium unifies us all. <laughs> Goddamn right. Let's that. pop that cherry. <laughs> what I, <laughs> what um no, but so I had this conversation with Alan on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Was, uh, do I want to see Tottenham do bad? Yes, I do. Obviously, it's funny. It's you worth never want to see him out of the league. No, I don't want to see him relegated. And they never will. They have too much money. Well, no, no but, yeah, I, but you but want a North London. Well, here's, like, here's you the need thing: the North it, London it, it every com- year. It comes back to Batman, Joker. Yeah, right. Would Batman be Batman if he didn't have Joker? Joker was right. Heath Ledger was right in that conversation right. in the police station. You need me. You need me. Mm-hmm. Right? To have a season that did not contain a North London Derby, is that a season? It would feel empty. To have a season that does not have a Merseyside Derby, it is that a, empty? Is it yeah. worth it? No. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Lily just enjoys feels. laughing at Birmingham yeah. right it now. It wouldn't feel right. No, not at all. The, the, what you what you say? I said right now, Villa's just enjoying laughing at Birmingham, going. Oh, I know, but you, it's okay. you got to you got to spend a little time in the championship, having a Birmingham derby fair for a while. No, but traditionally, y'all have been in different leagues. Anyway, Villa's always been in the top flight for the most part, right. and Birmingham has not. Right. The, those years that you shared that spotlight were not normal in your history. Right. It was not right. normal for Birmingham City to be <laughs> in the prem. Right. So for, for those of us, you know, in, in a very fortunate position that we do know that on a regular basis, it would be terrible to not have them here. Yeah. I mean, as, as much as I do want to see them do bad. And yeah, the jokes for a year would be really funny. Right, to see them relegated to the championship. But if Spurs, you know, went on one of them runs where they were gone for five, six years, I don't know that I'd even look forward to the season, to be honest with you. The new White Hart Lane in the championship would be pretty fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, it absolutely would. <laughs> but absolutely would. Lane. 100%. I mean, it'd be shooting blanks up there. I mean, all them little white spermies in the. Here, here's one for you, Grammy. It's, it's think about wall. it. The. The last time we had, <laughs> the last time it's we not had, a fucking mic over, <laughs> dropping her phone. Just Let walk out. She's on a banger tonight. <laughs> hey Mel, Mel, real quick. Just like you're. Do you need to lay down? <laughs> yeah. You take a nap. <laughs> Is that what? <laughs> okay. You know um, what she's doing? Is she found a fellow weed enthusiast? 
yeah. online, and they've been trading fucking Contact toke idea. videos. <laughs> <laughs> they've been FaceTiming, just, just huffing. Here's whatever it's called. Maryland. I mean, let's. <laughs> she said it again. No, that's why her mic stand's duct taped. <laughs> medical taped. <laughs> It is medical, medical marijuana taste. taste. A few, yes, a, please. <laughs> real quick, a few thoughts about uh, Darby's, and then I want to finish with the bottom of the table and call it a uh, call it a wrap to the show. Is with with Darby's? Think about it. We haven't had West Ham Millwall forever. Yeah, like exactly. Like the last time we had West Ham Millwall was when West Ham got relegated. Mm-hmm. Which was about what f- six seasons ago? I want to say it was. Like that, yeah. More than like, that, I yeah. think. Yeah, well, probably. Yeah, maybe, I was eight, leads, maybe eight, eight or nine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we haven't had that in forever. Mm-hmm. This year, for the first time in a while, because when Ipswich was in the Championship, Norwich was in the Premier League. League yep. We finally had an old when farm. Norwich got relegated. Ipswich got relegated. Right. Yeah. So, like, we finally had an old farm, but. Unless you're a big footy geek, we look out for that shit, right? Oh, like, yeah. Like, on this show, it was very important to us to make sure we talked about the old farm. Because it's a big fuck. That's a it's big, a big fuck deal. derby. That's all like, I have switch has I mean, out there in the fucking east of England. I mean, I mean, honestly, in the top ten derbies, I'd put the old farm at number ten. I'd put it there. Eh, it's, okay. it's, it's a big fuck deal, right? And... I don't know. It's probably it's probably for me on the level of the M twenty two or whatever the fucking Brighton fucking Palace made up bullshit is. Call it's it by its 